today we will be looking into office automation tools the components of which are ms word ms excel and ms powerpoint the first one is ms word we will be looking into the components of ms word the, fir the first component is the file tab in which you can check the backstage view which is the place to come when you need to open or save files create new documents print a document and do other file related options the second is the quick access toolbar you will find this just above the file tab and, and its purpose is to provide a convenient resting place for the word and most frequently used commands you can customize this toolbar based on your comfort next is the ribbon the ribbon uh, contains commands organized in three components the first is, first is the tabs uh, they appear across the top of the ribbon and contain groups or related commands home insert page layout are examples of ribbons the next is groups and the third one is commands let's look at the various uh, tabs the first one is the home tab this is the most used tab and it incorporates all text formatting features such as font paragraph changes etc the second is the insert tab this tab allows you to insert a variety of items into a document from pictures, clip art, tables and headers and footers etc. Page layout tab. Uh, this tab contains uh, commands to adjust page elements such as margins, orientation like uh, if you want to work in portrait orientation or land, uh, landscape orientation then inserting columns, page backgrounds etc. The next is the reference tab. This tab has commands to use when creating a table of contents and citation pages for a paper. It provides you uh, with create these typical difficult to produce documents. The next one is the mailing tab. This tab allows you to create documents to help when sending out mailings such as printing envelopes, labels and posts etc. The review tab. This tab allows you to make any changes to your document due to spelling and grammar issues. It also holds the training which provides people with the ability to make notes and changes to a document to an, of another person. Next is the view tab. This tab allows you to change the view of your document to a different two-page document or zoom in or zoom out etc. The next is the title bar. This lies in the middle uh, and at the top of the window. The title bar shows the program and document titles. Uh, rulers. Uh, what has two rulers? One is horizontal and the other is uh, vertical. Uh, zoom control. Zoom control lets you zoom in for a closer look at your text or zoom out if you want to zoom out. Uh, view button gives you a print layout. Uh, this displays pages exactly as they will be appear when you print. Full screen radio, uh, reading view will give you a full screen look of the document. Web layout uh, view will give you uh, the show you how the document exactly appears when you open it on a uh, web browser. Outline view. This lets you work with outlines established using MS Word's standard heading styles. Draft view. Uh, this formats text as it appears on the printed page with a few exceptions. For example, headers, headers and footers aren't shown. The next is the document area. Uh, document area is the area where you type uh, or insertion point and the representation uh, of the location where the text will appear when you type. Status bar. Uh, this displays document information as well as the insertion point location. From left to right, the bar contains the total number of pages and words in the document, language, etc. You can configure the status bar by right clicking anywhere on it and by selecting or deselecting options from the provided list. The last is the dialog box launcher. This appears as a very small arrow in the lower right corner of many groups on the ribbon. Clicking this uh, button op opens a dialog box or task pane that provides more options about the particular group. Next, we will be looking at MS Excel and the components of MS Excel. The first one is the active cell. The active cell is reorganized by its uh, black outline. Data is always entered into the active cell. Different cells can be made active by clicking on them with the mouse or by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. The file tab, uh, the file tab uh, actually represents all the file options that are mostly related to file management such as opening new or existing worksheet uh, files, saving, printing and a new feature saving and sending excel files in pdf format. The formula bar. Uh, it is located above the worksheet. This area displays the contents of the active cell. It can also be used for entering or editing data and formulas. Next is the name box. 
Located next to the formula bar, the name box displays the cell reference or the name of the active cell. Column letters. Columns are run vertically on a worksheet and each one is identified by a letter in the column header. Row numbers. Rows run horizontally in a worksheet and are identified uh, by a number in the row header. Together, a column a letter or a, and a row header create a cell reference. Each cell in the worksheet can be identified by this combination of letters and numbers. Whenever you open an Excel worksheet, you will always find that in the name box, it is always written as A1. It is the combination of a row and a column. Sheet tabs. Uh, by default, there are three worksheets in an Excel file. If you open an Excel file ever, you always have three uh, worksheets which are named as Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. The next is the Quick Access Toolbar. This customizable toolbar allows you to add frequently used commands. Click on down arrow at the end of the toolbar uh, to display the toolbar's option. Let's come to the ribbons. The first ribbon is the Home tab. This is one of the most common uh, tabs used in Excel. You are able to format the text of uh, your document, cut, copy, paste information, change your alignment, insert, delete and format cells. The next is the insert tab. Uh, the insert tab is mainly used for inserting uh, visuals and graphics into your document. Uh, there are various different things that can be inserted uh, from this tab such as pictures, clip arts, charts, links, headers and footers and word art. The next is the page layout tab. Here you are able to add margins, themes to your document and change the orientation, page breaks and titles. This scale fit of your document is also included as a feature within this tab if needed. And now we will be looking into the components of the PowerPoint screen. The first one is the file tab. The file tab is in the left corner of the ribbon. Uh, now we will be looking at the various tabs present on the ribbon. The first is the home tab. This, is, uh, this feature allows you to edit slides, fonts, paragraphs, drawings and editing. The insert tab allows uh, you to add tables, images, illustrations, links, word art and media clips. The design tab, this allows you to edit how your presentation will look. It includes uh, features such as page setup, themes and background styles. The transition tab. This allows you to edit slides, transitions, effects and transition timings. The animation tab, uh, this allows you to add custom animations to your presentation. You can select from preview animations, advanced animation and animation timing. The slideshow tab, uh, this allows uh, you to select how your presentation will be displayed. From here you can start your slide, set up your slideshow and adjust monitor settings. The review tab, this allows you to proofread, translate languages, comment slides and compare uh, your presentation. The view tab, this uh, feature allows you to set the view of your presentation, create master views, uh, show, hide features, zoom, switch from color to grayscale, adjust windows and add macros. Next is the quick access toolbar. This toolbar appears in the left, uh, top left corner of the PowerPoint screen. This is a customizable toolbar so that you may add icons for features that you use frequently. Uh, tabs on the ribbon. These tabs on the ribbons are headings for groups of tasks. These tabs look similar to the headings on the menus in the older version of PowerPoint. Uh, slides and outline pane. The slides outline pane is located on the left side of the window. The slides pane shows thumbnail versions of each of the slides in the presentation. The outline pane shows a text outline of all the information on the slides. You should understand or you may know when you do uh, PPT presentations, at the left side corner you will always see a small show or a small presentation of your uh, types or how many ever slides that you have added or how many slides are there you will always find it in the left corner of your PPT presentation.